Hey everybody, I'm Robert and I'd like to welcome you into a new segment of the fleet, which is a small little piece that we're putting together that showcases each of my cars so that you guys can get a little bit uh, more personal with the garage and know what we drive and why we drive it. Anyhow, this car is something that's very special to me. This is my uh, Shermer V8 GT XX31. As many people know it, it was a license plate that was carried on the car by its previous owner for uh, several years. And it's a car that many people saw in the Nürburgring really pushing around the track uh, it really got after it. It was, it was a sight to see. It was a lot of fun to watch. Um, it was a car that if you were out taking a casual lap, this thing would fling by you in the most beautiful slip angle, uh, you know, full throttle. And, and uh, I think it made an impression on a lot of people in that time frame. And uh, everywhere I go with this car, people recognize this car and they remember it and they tell me their stories about seeing it on track. So for me, being as, big, uh, as, as much of a Nürburgring fan as I am, it really brings me a lot of pleasure to hear the stories from everybody. If you have one, please uh, drop it in the comments. Tell me about the first time you saw this car or what experience you might have had with it. But like I said, it really is a car that was special or is special to me and brings me a lot of joy. This is a car that's built on uh, the typical Team Shermer V8 GT structure. Uh, and actually that structure was derived uh, in this car and its sister car, the other XX31, which carried the license plate for a few years. But as all good uh, E92 M3s are, it's sitting on a set of BBS E88 uh, wheels, 18 inch. Um, and then uh, we can go through the whole car and talk about what's been modified. But we start with a 4.4 liter stroker motor, motor that's making 510 horsepower, 500 newton meters of torque. It's sitting on full Schirmer race kinematics. Uh, the entire uh, cooling system has obviously been upgraded from radiators for the engine, uh, coolers for the differential transmission, etc. Full cage. We have a 110 liter fuel cell in the car. That gives me the ability to go out and do about 10 to 11 laps, depending on the pace that I'm doing of BTG. If we're doing full laps, it might cut it down to around nine because we have the full straightaway. The car uh, has a Drexler differential, which uh, really feels nice in the car and has a great setup in the turns. The transmission is actually a, a stock transmission, but with uh, some, some more mapping, maybe more like the GTS style would be. Uh, obviously, like I said earlier, we've got a full cage in the car. We have a full race navigator pro system, which we've actually set up with live streaming back to the pits. We've done some taxi laps with the car because it is very important for me to share this type of a car with, uh, you know, as many as many people as I can. So we've uh, done taxi laps and used the race navigator system to actually live stream back into the pit so people could see what was going on. Um, but uh, yeah, in addition to that, the car has uh, different aero uh, components set up from the carbon fiber GTS rear wing to a GT4 style front splitter that actually has the air ducts coming off of the front splitter and going into the uh, brake calipers, which are AP, uh, uh, AP calipers with PFC brake discs, um, nitron suspension all the way around. And uh, yeah, I think that that really kind of uh, makes the car come alive, this nitron suspension. Uh, with the kinematics and everything that's set up when you're driving this car, you literally can get to the apex, you turn in and, and you get to the apex and then out of the turn you can actually use your right and left foot on the brake and the gas and actually steer the car. That's how good the chassis is and it really is an absolute pleasure to drive. It's such a special car. When you want to take this car out, you have to be in a nice right clear mindset because you want to just go get a pure driving experience. This is one of the few cars that I have that I get in and I know that I'm going to absolutely love it every time I'm behind the wheel. It doesn't matter, uh, rain or shine, we've put some uh, rain tires on it and the chassis feels just as good in the rain as it does in the dry. But this car to me is one of the highlights of my fleet and it's a car that uh, I've gotten many offers uh, to buy and, uh, and uh, Robert, would you sell this car to me? And I, I have to kindly decline because it's a car that I could see staying in my garage or in my fleet for many, many years. And it's one that I'm actually very proud to own and very happy to own. I hope you guys enjoy a little bit of insight on what is one of my favorite cars. You're gonna hear me say that a lot, but I think in this case, I really do mean it. Anyways, we'll catch you guys later and thank you so much.